Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 13th, 2022. Well, my goodness, we had um, kind of a ugly Friday with that CPI number coming out stronger than expected sending the market sharply lower so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the monday edition of the morning market prep video good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here i do truly appreciate it well friday probably disappointed a lot of folks um, as those sellers came in really hard after that CPI number pushing our market sharply lower and it's just one of those reminders that as long as we remain in a downtrend in the market as long as that downtrend exists you want to always be respecting price resistance levels in the chart and that is just that reminder here that we won't be finished with the downtrend until the downtrend breaks now taking a look at this chart this morning we've got a pretty ugly situation going on um, futures are sharply lower here this morning and we're moving down here to see if we're going to retest the support of 2022 those lows see if it'll hold if it does not hold well we've got some issues here um, if that does not hold we could you can see there's a little tiny bit of price support right here if that doesn't hold then we start looking lower down here around the three uh, or thirty thousand area here in the Dow so you'll want to keep that in mind if um, 30,000 is becoming quite close so it really wouldn't be all that hard to imagine that we end up down there here uh, eventually now if we take a look at our technicals in the chart and this is something we were talking about um, all last week is that we continue to run into that uh, 50 day moving average unable to get up there and now we've fallen back down sharply below our 500 day moving average now as bad as this is there can be a little bit of good news in this because when we sell off this strongly there is um, always that possibility that we bounce unfortunately that bounce will probably be a dangerous bounce with a lot of whipsaws um, in the market and this is not a buy the dip rally remember in or a, a buy the dip situation because remember um, we're going to have a ppi another inflation number on tuesday and then we're going to hit retail sales and a fed um, interest rate increase that may be stronger than anticipated so keep a close eye on this this is we're going to have some rough days ahead and um, unfortunately it may be uncomfortable for those who um, have been doing a lot of speculation buying let's take a look at um, our SPY now the S&P 500 um, also pretty darn bearish here as you can see looks like at the moment we're testing and maybe even breaking those lows in the pre-market here on 2022 obviously continuing in the downtrend and our technicals here are pretty dismal again uh, 50 turning sharply lower as you can see and our uh, we're well below our 500 day moving average now when i look at this chart remember we have that really important level in here of let me see if i can i've got it drawn onto a chart someplace well let's not worry about it but um, um if you take a look uh, um i wanted to show there we go there's that four thousand level in um, the SPY and remember we we got back above that and then failed so what we're going to want to watch here is if we can catch a rally we're going to want to watch these resistance levels in the chart and if we can make it all the way back up to 4,000 that's where that next potential failure pattern could occur um, that's going to be a pretty significant failure here for the market and if you take a look at our technicals here in the chart um, pretty pretty understandable that 
um, we could see a lot of volatility here in um, today's price action. And then if we take a look at our NASDAQ, our QQQ, very similar situation where we've dropped below that really important 3000 um, NASDAQ number here again. So um, and we're pushing the lows of 2022. So we'll wanna watch that pretty carefully. And this is one of those that I kept reminding, we, we have the 50 day down through the 500 day and we were struggling with this price resistance. So hopefully you're on the right side of this. Um, uh, we took some really nice profits and right way options on this and still holding some for this morning um, that will be extremely profitable as we push on down. But this is going to be a, a a wild ride and anything is possible so just be kind of careful here if we take a look at our iwm now our iwm breaking down below some um, a level of support in here and unfortunately we've given up that upside trend here just really quick and all of a sudden pushing on down we're going to test some price support down in here we could possibly find some love in there or um, maybe retest the lows here um, in that um, in that Russell chart so watch that closely Russell um, was trying to hold up a little bit better uh, than the other indexes we'd are um, uh, we had started a little uptrend but now we've kind of given that up substantially we're still in a downtrend overall so watch that close and our technicals here are very dismal with a failure at the 50 day notice we're well underneath our 500 day so be kind of careful here with the russell let's take a look at our vix this morning now our vix um understandably um spiked up on Friday but I'm honestly surprised that it didn't spike more so that being said um, there's kind of an interesting um, interesting level here in the market where we've kind of reached it maybe we're just tired of the selling I don't know fear is seems to not be perking up but I suspect the gap down this morning could pop us up toward this level up here now I've said this before and I'm going to continue to repeat this. If we spike volatility above this area here, I would look for a substantial change in institutional activity, meaning we could see that capitulation point where mom and pop investors, 401ks, mutual funds start liquidating as um, everybody runs for the door. So watch that carefully. If, if that begins to happen, that could really bring in some heavy selling. Um, kind of like what we saw in 2008 after our relief rally so watch that close now if we take a look in here we've got some price support around this 24 25 handle area in the chart we um, bounced back above that downtrend so what's going to be important is if we hold that um, and that higher low in here and push on higher. I suspect it's going to gap substantially higher here this morning. And that's going to make it pretty rough for anyone in options because those options implied volatility is going to spike up high. Everything's going to get real expensive real fast. Let's take a look at um, our T2122. Now our T2122, this might be our, our good news of the day. Um, in here t2122 at the close of friday was approaching the max limit here on our bearish re reversal zone unfortunately our gap down is going to take us all the way down and that gap down this morning um, could help us again we could get a little bit of relief here just because we got so oversold so quickly we could catch a relief rally but be careful guys this it, this would not be the buy the dip just rush in if you're a if you're an experienced intraday trader you can make some really good money in this today um, with the volatility that's likely going to be seen if you're thinking of that I'm gonna start buying up positions because things are oversold well just get ready for the possibility that they could continue to go down um, after a relief rally um, remember we've got a lot more data coming our way and a much more aggressive Fed this is not the market we have seen for the last 10 or 15 years and let's remember that the Fed is no 
longer there to back this market up. They're actually pulling liquidity from the market. So you want to be careful with that rushing in to buy the dip mentality. Let's take a look at our T2107. T2107 obviously broke down pretty hard on Friday, but it hasn't taken out the lows yet. So there is a little bit of good news in there. It's trying to hold some price support. Um, obviously, we're continuing to maintain downtrends. Um, we have um, created some additional resistance now after breaking down. So not exactly a bullish chart. Only 22, 23% of the stocks holding above their 200 a That's not exactly bullish. And if we take a look at our T2108, T2, whoops. T2108 isn't helping us out much here either. Um, pushing down continuing to follow that downtrend breaking some price support and i suspect this morning with that big gap down we'll, we might be closer to down here only 26 um, and a quarter percent of our stocks holding above uh, their 40-day moving average and that's likely going to be substantially different this morning so let's take a quick look at our economic calendar for today now our economic calendar is pretty light on the day but oh my goodness this week we have a bunch of events that could move us a lot First off, we have bond yields. Bond yields um, are um, <laughs> rising um, pretty substantially today. Um, those bond prices, as a matter of fact, are two year for a brief period of time inverted over the um, over the 10 year uh, bonds. So we've got a lot of pressure in bonds and that'll be interesting to watch with the three and the six month bond auctions today. That short term um, bond auction continues to creep up. Um, and if you'll notice here, if you take a look at Bloomberg, our two year right now is pricing at three. 320 or five years at 340 and our 10 year is only at 325 so we're very very close to a 210 inversion we do have a 510 inversion on that and notice we've even got a 530 inversion um, in bond so not exactly a good situation for us to be in here in the market um, let's um, on, on that economic calendar continuing to pay attention to it as we plan for the week ahead keep in mind we've got another um, inflation reading here on Friday with the PPI and our FOMC meeting will begin and the hits just will keep on coming with retail sales import export prices um, in here um, it's just going to be one of those weeks where we're just going to get hammered here on economic reports so watch that carefully and closely we've got a lot of data coming our way this week and today is just going to be that lull before the storm i think um, um, when things could really uh, begin to get ugly let's take a quick peek um, at our um, um, gas prices here now um, if you guys uh, paid attention to this we hit an, another new record high here in gas prices um, um, with the national average gas price going over five dollars a gallon so certainly that is putting considerable pressure on our um, consumers and um, things just are not looking very good right here at the moment so be really really careful on how you trade and be careful with wild speculation in just buying let's take a look at um our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar is very very light today um, as a matter of fact we only have two companies that I could really even come up with to put on for notables here today and I think both of them are this afternoon so you'll want to pay attention to Oracle um, Oracle will be reporting today watch that one and um, then we're gonna have ZD GE that will be reporting um, $5 stock. There's a couple other stocks that are confirmed this morning, but they're very, very small cap and unlikely to move the market much at all. So um, not much on the um, uh, earnings calendar that's going to provide much for inspiration um, for the bulls or bears. 
that may be a good good news thing or a bad news thing i'm not sure let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could do me that quick favor if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me a favor and click that um, subscribe um, um, thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and I just want to say thank you there was a noticeable change uh, folks going through and and putting thumbs up on um, other other comments on the channel that does help a lot um, that engagement so thank you very much for all your kind support to the channel you guys yeah seriously um, it means a lot to me thank you um, you know the effort to put out these videos it does take quite a little bit of work and just seeing that kind that kind support is um, very rewarding for me let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up for today please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact make sure you do your own due diligence make sure you're being very very careful with what you do make sure you know your tolerance for risk and i'll be honest with you guys it may be a great day to just put your hands in your pockets or go do something else to prevent yourself from being tempted to buy because this is likely going to be a rough week and not not for the inexperienced trader let's take a look at a couple of things here first off i want to bring in bring your attention to things like um, inverse etfs if you are a long only trader if you don't like shorting then start taking a look at some of these inverse etfs now they're shooting up hard here right now breaking some down this is the rwm this is um, an unleveraged it is one for one um, on the russell um, so breaking that downtrend we want to respect our our same patterns that we do we break a downtrend we want to wait for proof that that can hold and then we'll look for that next move for the upside but take a look at some of those like um, this is a, a dog this is an unleveraged um, on the dow um, we'll wait for that next little resting pullback look for that opportunity to maybe pick up some inverse ETFs long if you like a little bit of leverage you know you could look at things like uh, QID on the NASDAQ um, you could look at um, something in the uh, financial sector if we take a look at XLF that certainly broke down hard worth um, throwing off all of that bullishness pushing on down so you could look at some of the inverse ETFs um, on XLF or on, on the financials like um, FAZ um, this is an inverse um, it's a three times leverage so these are meant for just really quick trades they're not meant for buy and hold and again you want to follow these patterns carefully remember markets going to be extremely volatile and when you start trading two and three times leveraged ETFs the volatility expands by two to three times so just make sure you're aware of that um, but uh, you may want to start looking for some of those inverse um, ETFs if you like to go long if you um, are not a long trader watch for rally back um, setups in markets take a look at things like um, um, there's been a lot of hope that Microsoft was going to take right off and go right back up to the highs. Um, what we may want to wait and do now, because tech is, is really running into some pressure here with these high bond rates, is you may want to wait and see if we can catch a rally back to some price resistance in the chart and then start looking short on these trades. If you're not already short, do not chase the short trade um, we're already very extended in these moves and um, you don't want to be chasing them down um, allow them to rally back to resistance and then look for your short trades Apple looking pretty ugly here and uh, could easily fall significantly more here um, and we're seeing just lots and lots of pressure out here in charts now i'm gonna even though i'm talking about charts that could be setting up guys what i want to really recommend to you is that a day like today is not a day to trade unless you are a very experienced 
intraday trader who can handle this kind of volatility, it would be wise to stand aside. Now, a change could be um, for that if you are a very long-term trader and you think that some of these stocks are starting to approach some value places where you can start nibbling and waiting. Um, but remember guys, you may have to suffer some, some, some substantial losses on those trades if we continue to fall to the downside. Remember, I want to remind you guys that um, if we take a look at the S&P 500 and the targets that some of the institutions have placed on these, we've got a long ways that we will be going to the downside. So don't, um, don't rush in with the idea that this dip is something we have to buy. As a matter of fact, I think it's, it's becoming very apparent that the only way we're going to slow inflation down is we're going to have, the Fed's going to have to push us into recession to really create that demand destruction out there. So be very, very careful and cautious on buying today. As a matter of fact, I, the, the entire week could be a little bit rough. If you are experienced, start watching for those potential bounces because we are going to be oversold at the open with this gap down. But don't rule out the possibility that we can't go lower because panic is a powerful emotion. And if we start to see that capitulation of 401k accounts, mutual funds, and things like that, it can get brutal really fast. Um, I'm not saying that that's ready to occur, but it could happen at any time. So be prepared for that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. Try not to panic today. Um, this is a normal a normal market. Um, um, we, if you haven't been around for quite a few or, or have only traded for a few years, um, you haven't seen a true bear market. This is a true bear market activity that's going on where we're repricing everything and settling everything back down to more of a logical place um, based on PE ratio. So we've got some work yet to do, but please keep in mind that Mr. Market tends to always oversell at the same time where we went, we overbought before, we tend to oversell when panic comes in and we may start seeing that panic here soon. So with that, everyone, be safe, be careful, have an awesome day, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. I wish you all the best.